Works did use close to 700 tons of salt to treat some 600 miles of roads. Crews again back on those roads tonight from 7 until 6 in the morning. And TDOT, they have been working 24-7 to keep the interstates and highways clear. Joining us now on the phone is TDOT Communications Officer Mark Nagy. Mark, thank you for being with us, and thank you to TDOT crews who have done a stellar job in keeping the, the interstates and highways safe for us. That being said, uh, tonight we are preparing for single-digit temperatures. How is TDOT preparing to tackle this? Well, because the temperatures are going to be so low, that's the fear in terms of refreezing. Uh, our interstates uh, are in pretty good shape right now, as are uh, a good number of our state routes, secondary state routes, uh, taking a little more time to get those clear. But with the temperatures dropping as much as we have or much as we expect, uh, that refreezing possibility is there. And, and if folks have to be on the roadways, we're still suggesting that they stay at home and recommending that they stay at home unless it's uh, vital for them to travel. But if they do have to be on the roadways, they need to be aware uh, that black ice is certainly possible. We did see one deadly wreck yesterday on the roads. Mark, give us a picture across East Tennessee over the last 24 hours. Were there a lot of calls for help? What were you hearing for those road crews? Well, on the first day in East Tennessee alone, uh, we counting in the Chattanooga area, we had over 100 um, call outs. Uh, that's stuff that our, our maintenance crews were assisting with, our help truck crews were assisting with. Uh, yeah, I mean, yesterday was rough. Uh, anybody who drove on the roads uh, on Monday certainly realized that uh, it was some treacherous driving. And things have gotten better today. Uh, but we're not out of the woods just yet. So uh, over the next 24, 36 hours, uh, there certainly are still going to be some slick spots on our interstate and stay routes. Well, again, we appreciate the time, Mark Nagy. We'll keep checking in with you. As Robin mentioned, please pass along our appreciation for those TDOT crews on the roads. They've been working hard, as Todd mentioned as well. Will do. Thank you, guys.